What you're looking at here is the classic proof that two equals one. It uses only elementary algebra, and I call it a proof because obviously you can't prove that two equals one since it doesn't. But the classics are classic for a reason. One of the things that I love about this proof is that it uses each of the properties of equality that we typically learn when we're first beginning to manipulate algebraic equations. We've got one step that uses the addition property of equality to add the same quantity to both sides of an equation, another step that uses the multiplication property of equality, we've got the subtraction property of equality, We've got the division property of equality, and then everybody's favorite thing in the world, we've got factoring. Now, again, something is wrong here, and I'll leave it to you, the viewer, to figure out what that is. You can pause and look through the steps. But the fact that we can use such simple properties to prove something erroneous like 2 equals 1 is a pretty good reason to pay attention to the requirements for those properties. They don't always work precisely how you would think.